Introducing Apple Intelligence, the new personal intelligence system that makes your most personal products even more useful and delightful. Nearly 8 million people watched the Apple WWDC 2024 event, which was definitely the most exciting developer conference by Apple in years. And the main reason for this is that Apple has finally joined the AI bandwagon with the iOS 18 update and the updates to iPad OS and Mac OS, though what they're calling it is a personal intelligence system called Apple Intelligence. Competitors like Google and Microsoft have been rolling out AI features at a hectic pace in the last few months. But Apple has a loyal fan base, people who were willing to wait a little longer just to get AI features on their iPhones and of course their iPads and Macs. And Apple really hasn't decided Pointed. They've announced a slew of cool features that they call useful, personal and relevant, which don't compromise user privacy. Now, this privacy aspect is both tricky and important. But before we get to that, let's first jump to the five best features that Apple Intelligence offers. The first one is something that may just make grammar tools obsolete since these AI-powered writing tools can help you adjust the tones of emails, like they can make it more friendly, more professional, more concise, and can help you summarize or proofread the content on the Mail app itself. The second is the big update to Siri after years. Siri will now be AI-powered. She can understand words if you stumble and can draw personal context from information on your device like this. What's the weather tomorrow morning at Muir Beach? I mean, Muir Woods. The forecast is calling for clear skies in the morning near Muir Woods National Monument. Siri also remembers what you've just been talking about. Create an event for a hike there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Hike is scheduled for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on June 11th. Siri, when is mom's flight landing? And Siri already knows who mom is and will cross-reference flight details from an email to give you an up-to-date arrival time. For the first time, you can also now type to Siri instead of just talking. And Apple is using AI so that more important notifications get prioritized on top. In fact, iOS 18 brings ChatGPT integrated into Siri with users getting the option of accessing GPT features through Apple's chatbot. While GPT for free with Apple intelligence may be welcome for most users, some like Elon Musk have raised privacy concerns over opening up Apple to OpenAI's chatbot. However, Apple says there's a dedicated set of servers that power the AI features but ensure that they don't store users' personal information. In fact, Tim Cook says that Apple plans to usher in a new standard for privacy in AI since privacy has been key for Apple from the start. Now on to another feature and this one is probably more for younger users, it's Genmoji. So you can create custom emojis from typing text prompts. In fact, you can even transform regular pictures from your photo library into Genmojis. Fourth is an image generator called Image Playground, another useful feature with some external AI apps like Mid Journey already do. You can put in text inputs and Apple Intelligence will generate the image and you can choose between three different styles as to what kind of picture you want. If you're interested in AI features for iPads, one nice one is that you can convert a rough sketch into an image by just circling over the sketch using an Apple Pencil and then you can add more context for a better image iOS 18 itself also offers other features besides AI with more customization options, the biggest ever redesign of the Photos app, and the fact that users can now arrange apps and widgets wherever they want on the home screen, a feature that Android, by the way, has had for years now. Now, will all iPhones and Apple devices get these features? Well, of course, not as expected. It's only those devices with Apple M1, M2, M3, M4 chips, and A7 Pro chipsets which will support the new AI features. This means that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are eligible and the entire Apple Silicon Pad Max, including MacBook Air M1, which was launched in 2020. The last two generations of iPad Air and last three generations of iPad Pro will also get them. The first public beta should be out in a few weeks, while the official release should be out with the iOS 18 update, which normally happens before the launch of new iPhone models in September. Until now, many investors and analysts have been concerned over Apple not incorporating generative AI in any flagship product so far. They worry that Apple is playing catch-up in the AI race. In fact, Google Pixel 8's Pro version has some powerful Gemini AI features. But as I said before, Apple fans tend to be loyal. And though Apple hasn't debuted a marquee AI product, they have been building up their AI capabilities for years. Whether Apple intelligence and further announcements can allay these concerns, we'll have to wait and watch once we can finally use it. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more such content, keep watching Mint.